Well, hello there, Alex Mathers here, yours truly. Happy to be here for another video with you guys. It's going to be a discussion today. I say discussion, the discussion sounds a little bit dry and long. More of a brief chat about self-love. A lot of chat about self-love across the interwebs, across the blogging sphere, across self-development channels and talking points. A lot of people talking about the importance of self-love. A lot of us can beat ourselves down in life. We have high expectations, uh, big plans, big goals. And a lot of us, so the, the saying, so the chat goes, are finding themselves burning out and getting depressed because they're not getting to where they want to go. They compare themselves to too many people. They're not seeing the results they want in life. Life is difficult. Life seems challenging, more competitive than it ever has been before. The internet opens up so many streams of uh, awareness of what other people are doing and you can comp compare yourself and blah, 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 blah. Lots of ways to uh, get yourself trapped in the quicksand of not living up to your own expectations and perhaps beating yourself down and taking things too seriously and being harsh to yourself and not forking out enough self-respect, self-love, um, comfort, self-support, whatever it is, whatever self-love actually means. But I'm here to deliver to you, my friend, what I believe true self-love should be, should look like, and how it's going to help you the most. How an awareness of this take on self-love is going to help you in a way that will be the most profound for you, like it, it, like it has been for me, especially more recently, as I've finally seen the light of what self-love really is. Is self-love about running yourself a hot bubble bath, filling it with petals, and making yourself feel good at the end of a, a long day, having done not much, <laughs> because I don't think I don't think that's what self-love at its core really is. I don't think self-love is about endlessly telling yourself that you're a great person and then letting yourself off the hook on taking challenges in life. And that's where I'm getting to with this video. It's really about opening up the potential to be rejected to feel pain, to suffer, to be frustrated, to feel the uncomfortable pangs of change in yourself, of self-growth, which inevitably rely on painful change in order to see the benefits that come through growth, through, through overcoming hurdles. So what I'm saying to you is that self-love, if you want to get anywhere, if you want to truly, genuinely, authentically respect yourself. Self-love is really to be assertive. Self-love is about supporting yourself with kind words through challenge in approach to a big challenge that you know you need to do. Self-love is about identifying with deep honesty what are those problems in life that keep holding you back? What are those patterns that keep persisting? What are those reasons and excuses you continually come up with that tell yourself, no, I can't do this. There's something wrong with me. Rather than sitting at home uh, with your thumb in your mouth, telling yourself that you love yourself, telling yourself that self-love is all you need and just sitting there statically at home, not leaving your front door and just being nice to yourself, treating yourself well, getting that takeaway for yourself as another treat. The sixth takeaway of the week is you're finding it's not really helping your sense of well-being. It's, it's being very nice to yourself. It's improving your comfort, but is that true self-love? I disagree. I think real self-love is being tough with yourself. It's the need to get up and do what you know you need to do in life. That is self-love. So if you know that you aren't earning enough money, it's not about being nice to yourself and saying you're the greatest, you're the best in the mirror every day. A little bit of that's good. And I think that definitely comes having done challenge. I think it's a good thing to do to give yourself positive affirmations to keep the momentum going. But when you want to start up, when you lack that momentum, the best form of self-love you can give yourself is to identify the problem, speak it as it is, call out the issue by name and say, look, I've got to be assertive here. I know that the um, facing of this challenge brings me fear, brings me discomfort, but I'm going to do this step by step. I'm going to support myself through the process. I'm going to be clear with myself that challenge is really the, or approaching challenge and confronting challenge in my life and the things that scare me and the things that are most important to me are those challenges that, that I feel fearful of. 
I'm going to support myself through those challenges. That is self-love. I'm going to identify those patterns in my life that keep rearing their ugly heads and say, I'm done with this now. I'm not going to shy away from this. I'm not going to come up with excuses. I'm not going to increase the level of comfort in, in my life. I'm going to seek out those things in my life that I know I need to do that very likely lead to some form of pain. Usually it's the the pain that comes with change, the pain that comes with confrontation, the pain that comes with experiencing something new. And I'm going to nurture myself through that. That is real self-love. It is coaching yourself honestly, and it is pulling yourself through those painful moments, knowing that you are growing as a person. The best gift you can give to yourself is continually seeking out means and ways and opportunities to overcome those things that cause you stress, to overcome those things that scare you. So don't get so hung up on following your passion, doing what you love, self-love. Those things will come when you give yourself the gift of true, genuine, hearty self-love, self-support by approaching new challenges in your life, identifying the challenges you know you need to confront, uh, approaching those people you know you need in your life who are going to mentor you, help you, give you jobs, give you money, give you new client opportunities. Give yourself that gift of real self-love. Get yourself to the gym. If you're feeling low, don't buy yourself that tub of ice cream. That ain't self-love. That's, that's just piling on the hate. That's piling on more hate. That's giving yourself more of a weight on your shoulders. That's something else to be worried about. That's something else to be ashamed of. Cut the, cut the shameful activities, cut the bad habits. That is self-love. Make yourself a better person, 1% every day. That's where your attention should be lying and you should be getting excited about where your life could go. Write down all the possibilities of your life. How are you going to surprise yourself over the next year? That's my call to action to you today. Get yourself a list, a self-love list, and write down all of, all of the ways you are going to astonish yourself this year. Places you're going to go, people you're going to meet, experiences you're going to have, little challenges that you're going to overcome. Regardless of what everyone else is doing, this is for you. How small do you need to go in order to create that momentum? I don't care how embarrassingly small that first step needs to be, but make the step and identify those areas with as much honesty as you can. Ask the right questions and dig deep. And that is where you will start to see the self-respect come back into your life. That is where you're going to start to see your trust in yourself and the momentum build out of that and the genuine, authentic self-love that comes with supporting yourself and encouraging yourself through things that are hard. Do the things that are hard and you will be rewarded in the most profound ways. Hope that made sense, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you agree with what I said. Always love a like. Hit that like button in three, two, one. Hit it now for me and for you. Let everyone else know about these videos. Absolute pleasure as always to help you guys and you know bring new ideas and possibly old ideas as reminders for you guys. And yeah, make sure you follow on and I will see you in the next video.